Hey guys, how's it going? Scooty here, and today I'm going to be lagging in Gmod water. Oh shit, give me a minute. Okay. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my Gmod posters. This won't be like a full advanced tutorial, this will just be a rundown of what I do. So, yeah. First thing you want to do is obviously, this is just going to be for TF2 stuff, but you want to spawn your character. Um, hardware morph standard, the way I do it doesn't really matter, but... I will pick a uh, red spy. So you want to spawn him in. Computer's a little laggy. I actually got a new one for Christmas. I just, you know, have to set it up. But anyway, not that one. What you want to do? You press C. You have to get a few tools. There's the uh, stand, like ragdoll stand tool. There's a few tools. But uh, let me see. Stand pose right here. And then I want to try to find it. I always lose the tools. Basically a bone merger. There we go. So what the bone merger does is I'm going to go spawn in some hats and this will allow me to attach them to my spy. So yeah. I completely forgot player items. Yeah okay. And spy. Uh, let's pick some random hats. Uh, this one looks cool. That one. And spats. Alright, cool. Not, not craft gun. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is move these out because uh, I. What the fuck? Wait a minute. Alright. So I have a paint tool that also, you know, paints things. Like, there's just a bunch of stuff. You know, you gotta get all the tools. I'm bad at explaining. Uh, what color? What color? What color? I kind of want to make the hat black. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, I forgot it doesn't color the entire hat. Can that even be painted? No, I didn't think so. Okay, so all I'm going to do, my hats are painted, I'm going to go to the bone merger, click him, and I'm going to click all my hats, and then I'll right click, and now he has all his hats, and he's looking all fancy. Yeah. So then I'm going to find the weapons I want him to have. Let me see. Normally I just use... These are all, all the default weapons, so then there's that. But it's still technically default, but I don't know. All the weird sticky bombs. Like, that one's cool. Wish that was a thing. Uh, what weapon? What weapon? I'll give him a knife. Uh, I spawned it way over there. Okay. Now with the knives and weapons and all that, in case you didn't know, there should be a skin tab. And certain skins are Australian. I just happen to know that this one is 8. Because I'm cool like that. So, I haven't done this while, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bone merge the knife to the spy. And hopefully this works. That did not work at all. It's like a hidden blade. Okay. <laughs> Give me a minute. Right. Obviously, there's much more effective ways of doing this, but I'm trying to, there we go. There's more effective ways of doing this. I haven't done this in a long time, but, you know, it, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm just going to stand him up. What in the hell is going on with his face? All right, he'll be looking down. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that's actually nice. Post that. I'll have to get it from, like, that angle. Maybe a dead body or something right there. <laughs> you never know. Alright, I had to cut really quick stuff. I, I, uh, I was having trouble with the arm because I'm not using tools because I completely forgot how to use tools. But it's okay. His leg is what... That makes no sense. No, it's this leg does make sense. This one doesn't. Gotcha. Eh, what... Yeah, it makes a little more sense, let me see. No. <laughs> He's like the non-bent knee. Oh, God. Like I said, not using tools, I completely forgot how. Because I'm fucking retarded. Uh, let's see. Pull out the knee. Try not to have him have a backwards knee. Uh, come on, man. Hey, there we go. Just rotate it. Perfect. Yeah, alright, I can deal with that. Like I said, I'm kind of ghetto-rigging it right now, but... Hi. 
Holy shit, that's cool. I have to make that a poster too. Anyway, but yeah, almost done actually. I'm probably going to have the knife in this hand right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the knife on No Collide right there. Okay, let's rotate it. Like I said, this is not the most effective way, but this is using the fizz gun, so. I actually got it almost spot on. Nice. I'm just trying to get the knife right in there. Okay, I'm gonna move it up because then I'm gonna use the finger poser to curl the bottom fingers, and then it'll be cool. Actually, no, don't move the ragdoll. Move the knife. It's scaring me. You know what? That actually looks really good. I've never done that that fast. But I still gotta tweak it. Scooty the perfectionist. Alright, so now I'm gonna brush out the finger poser. Right here. I'm gonna click this man's finger. Hey, kinda did it. I mean, what? Oh, I gotta select them, right. Default. Okay. And I forgot how this works, so give me a minute. I don't think I did that right. Yeah, that moves it back. Okay, yeah, I remember it was kind of weirdly inverted. Just derp around with this. I don't think... Oh my god, Steam fucking notes. That's actually not that bad. I, I gotta get the middle finger up there more, I think. Yeah, middle finger's kinda... Kinda there. And maybe all the other fingers aren't where... Okay, hold on. That's not bad, except this fucking middle finger. I don't get it. You know what? No, that makes sense. Alright. Because his middle finger is biggest finger, I guess. Not too bad. It just kind of looks weird to me. Whatever. Alright. So we have him holding the knife. That, that's a nice little circle. Um, yeah, not bad. So let's get another ragdoll. Blue medic. I don't like medics. Except when I play medic. I just like backstabbing him. Alright, so let's get some medic hats. Same place, except instead of the spy folder, we'll get the medic folder. Alright, so... Now let's put my main medic loadout. So it's that, that, and then I don't know if it has all the suits and stuff. Normally it doesn't. They're all renamed to different things. So, um, right now I guess it doesn't really matter. He's gonna be facing down. There's the winter coat. I used to use that. Yeah, screw it. Use that. Okay. And let's paint all these purple, really, purple, purple, really quick. I don't know why I said it like that. Purple, purple. I don't, I don't think I can paint that purple. Okay, and then we'll get the bone merger. Uh, that, 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 boom. There we go. And slide his ass over here. I want, it, I want his arm out. <laughs> the body just flops, that's great. His body structure is a little weird, in my opinion, but you know. Alright, so once you have all the hats on all your characters, and your characters posed, I mean that's pretty easy to pose, you want to get a good angle. Now you don't want to take the picture right away, there's a few things you might want to do. Like, you might want to put a lamp, this will add shading, definition, all that good stuff. Um, obviously this isn't going to be the final color of my lamp or anything like that. I'm just testing. Um, hmm. Goodbye. Out of my presence. Um, let me see. Let me mess with the lamps. Uh, let's make the color like dark. To be honest, I've never tried making a dark lamp. Doesn't really make sense to me, but whatever. 
Lamps, sides are tool gun. No, that's not a tool gun. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't think that did anything. Huh. That doesn't even... Okay, so black lamps do not work the way I thought they did. Yeah, we'll just make it a more orangish lamp. Because, you know, sun. I want orangish yellow. Like, kind of like that. Let's test it. Lamps is all trial and error, in my opinion. You know, you just gotta figure out what goes with the scene. A little more orange would probably be better. And right, get out of here. Just make sure if you're throwing your lamps around like I do, none of them are sh like you don't have two lamps accidentally shining in. That looks like it'd be nice. Yeah. That's not bad. I mean, I gotta zoom it out more, so that way you can't see it over there when I do this. There you go, that's, that's, that's good. Um, there's a bunch of... Get out of my fucking photo, nerd. There's a bunch of uh, launch options that my friend gave me. He makes Gmod posters. He's a lot better than I am, to be honest, but... I forgot them all. Like, I don't know, so I'm gonna have to ask him again, but... It makes it like where less pixels are able to be seen, like that'd be smoother right there. Not just my quality. Don't worry about that. And then, yeah, stuff like that. Um, what I don't really do, if I can, add some blood. There we go. I don't really use this one as a revolver. Add some blood in there. Make it look like he got stabbed. And, yeah. I'm gonna take multiple, you know, like, shots. Like one from here, probably one over the shoulder. Over the shoulder, or like this, is like probably my favorite perspective, but not quite done yet. What I like to do is I generally add depth of field. Makes the background fuzzy. Makes it look awesome. So yeah, I think that looks pretty good. We're gonna take this one. Alright. I'll be uploading these to my Steam account as well. Let me get in the ground a little. You can see his body clipping. That's kind of weird. Let me... Okay, so that isn't going to change. His body's just going to clip no matter what. Okay. His arm... What in the hell? Do not throw that grenade at my spy. Oh bad. Me being clumsy. Why is his arm clipping? That's kind of annoying. No, don't lift this fucking ass. Stop. I could just do that and pose it. There we go. Okay. That actually kind of looks like the sun. That's cool. I was going to move the lamp further, but I might have that in there. Fucking Lieutenant, Lieutenant Lemons, get out of here. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, Steam notifications. Anyway, alright. Um, you know what? No, I don't want the lamp. I'll do like that. God damn. Oh, no. Alright, give me a minute. Sorry. I'm just being dumb with my Steam notifications. I'll probably turn those off, but... I want a tiny bit of it showing, like, that in the top corner, but I want to see the entire knife. Kind of like that. Yeah, that looks good. Boom. Alright. And then maybe... One more. For good measure. I have to move the lamp further back because I can see over there where the light just cuts off. Uh, that did the trick. Nice. Also, sometimes what I like to do is if I'm making them for someone else, I always upload my images to Imgur and then they have some cool filters I normally put on. Like those bitches and their selfies. But, uh, like seriously, I've seen some pretty bad selfies on like the internet. Like it's like it's like those like making fun pictures of, of what it's like those pictures I make fun of all these girls with like really bad selfies so there's like eight filters but anyway it's, that's a completely different story I just noticed what is that green shit eh whatever and uh, I gotta get the angle right let me see okay hold on the spice feet look kind of dumb 
Yeah, I know, I'm horrible. I'm just fixing it now. Let me rotate this foot out a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Ah, looks good enough. Nice. Alright, and then we are going to do some of that. Alright, cool. We have our screenshots. Now what you can do is you can save the world. I generally just delete it because I have the three screenshots. So, yeah, once you do that, if you want to upload the screenshots to Steam, obviously when you close the game it'll pop up a menu that says, hey, you want to upload these? And you press, fuck yeah, it's cool. And then it does it. Out of here, man. Or what I do is I have a screenshot shortcut folder. Like, I found the folder in my files for Gmod screenshots. And then I just put a link to it on my desktop so I can just upload it straight from there to, like, Imgur. But, yeah. Um, I'll be putting the three screenshots I just took in this video at the end. So in, like, a few seconds. And that's basically the whole process. Kind of a little sloppy because I'm, you know, warming up. But go through the rundown really quickly. Spawn the ragdoll, put on the hats, pose them up. I do weapons last just because I already have the pose and then I can do the weapons. But if you're doing it this way. So hats, or no, ragdoll, hats, pose, weapons. And then, yeah, make sure you do your lighting. Yeah, right there. I should, hold on. I can't even see the light. There we go. Make sure you do your lighting and your posing and your angles and all that. But yeah, that's how I make mine. Generally, I use tools and it's a lot faster, but for being rusty and using the physic gun, physic, physics gun, whatever, what is it, yeah, physics, physics gun, it's actually came out pretty good, so yeah, that's how I make my shit, um, peace, I'm talking too much.